sometimes with this place as we're going through, we're a bit town of Tweed Heads. The Queensland, New South Wales border. And what are we doing here? Well, come from Sydney. They didn't have a load for us to go back to Melbourne, so they asked us if we want to go to Queensland. So we're going up to Brisbane. Let's see what trouble we can get into up there. Now it's either sit and do nothing or earn some money, so we decide to earn some money. Might as well make money rather than sit around for another 36 hours or so to, before you leave, so. Especially when you had to sleep during the day and you got to sleep again that night and then the next go back to bed <laughs> again, so just too much. So we decided to take the Brisbane run. Not going to change too much, we stood. We'll come back out again tonight and then we'll be back to go to Melbourne just as normal. And then do one more trip for the week and come up to Sydney. been up to Brisbane for about seven years or so but nothing's really changed so you want to see during the day rather than at, uh, than at night you can't really see too much Queensland, 
they paid for everything. Got to stay in a uh, apartment overlooking the, the beach. It was quite uh, quite good. We're travelling down here, I'll do an update on the owner driver or company driver. Now I didn't get too much information. You can probably read some of the comments. said uh, you probably need about $20,000 as a backup for maintenance in case of breakdowns that's about fair I think I think it's about fair 20000 so uh, I guess you're also going to pay for a bit of fuel costs before you start getting some money in Maybe make a couple of truck payments. I know there's a lot of people probably say it's probably not worth it. It's probably up to yourself whether you want to buy a truck or not. No, if that's what you want to do. But just do a lot of research before you actually do it. I did hear from, I believe it was John in Scotland, said he had the opportunity to buy a truck passed it up, understandably, had a family at the time, didn't want to take the risk. But uh, someone at the same company ended up taking up the offer and ended up with 24 trucks. But it wasn't always smooth sailing, they had to uh, really work at it. And you've got to read that story comments as well and I got uh, John from France he used to actually work and drive trucks in Australia he worked for a company called Blackiston down in uh, Geelong and I actually don't remember that company I've done a little bit of research on it they actually got bought out by Scots quite a while ago and then I think they went to K&S after that I do remember that company and you know, he would went over to France, went to stay for a while and ended up being there 30 years. And he was a driver driving tankers. Now you could buy a truck for the company he worked for, work as a contractor. And how they work theirs is uh, if they did the maintenance, looked after the truck, put the tires on it, you get 60%. If you own your truck and your trailer, well that would go up to about 90%. It's probably similar to how it works in Australia, how, it, how you buy a truck. Maybe it's a percentage, I guess. The company that keeps some for giving you the work and the rest would go to you. So that would also mean whether you got your truck or whether you got a truck and a trailer. I said I'd be in... Uh, Brisbane Depot by 9 o'clock, but I don't think we're going to make it. I should have remembered the traffic. So there wasn't too much information out there. Of course, there's quite a few say so don't do it. And as I mentioned before, if you're not going to make not going to be taken home more than about 80,000 it's probably not worth it it's not worth the headaches because you can virtually get that 
working for a company and not taking any risks. But we'll see what else we come up with. We'll leave it open. Maybe we'll get some more comments as uh, as people see the video. If you go back to that that last video and just uh, read the comments, the one I got from John from France was actually on the uh, email. So it's very similar, doesn't matter where you are in the world, things sort of work the same. If you want to get into trucking at the moment, you've got to think about doing it, you're just about to make the move, you might want to talk to uh, SRV, I heard they're uh, selling some off some of their trucks and actually supplying a contract to go with it, they're the 2014. Cab aerodynes. So they should be working for them. So if you want to get the truck, you've got a bit of cash there. Might be good to talk to them if you want to get into it right now. Not too many companies offer it. What I've heard, they're pretty good to work for. I don't know what they're. Uh, I never worked for them, but many things that I've heard. As I say, do your research, see what they're offering, see what sort of rates they're going to have and whether it's worth it. Go and talk to uh, some of the larger companies, see what they're offering, whether they actually tell you, they may not. They may say, put an application in or come and work for us and we'll tell you what you're going to earn, I don't know. But Loading agents may tell you what sort you're going to get. If you just tell them you want to buy a truck and look at the work. There's not too much information out there. It's still that secret society. Notice something, you're probably thinking, What's happened to the steering wheel? It's not red anymore, it's black. But you're right, it is, uh, it is black, it's called a standard steering wheel. That's because the truck's changed, and I'll just put the camera down. We're going from a uh, stick shift to an automatic. Yes, I have sold out onto an automatic. This truck come up, I got offered it. And the reason I got offered it, because I asked for a microwave in the other truck. And uh, this one already had one. So this one become available and I, uh, I thought, no, oh, well, I'll to go to automatic. It'll be a little bit easier. Although they're slow when you take off. But not this work. Actually a little bit newer this truck. A few less K's. Pretty basically the same. You probably notice that something missing in the front as well. And the drop boys is not there no more. It's supposed to be one coming. But other than that the interior is the same colour, red. The outside's still white, We've got black chassis now, though. and I'm missing a few things. It's probably not as it's probably not as good a truck. Got some squeaks and rattles, we're trying to get rid of. And a leaky windscreen at one stage, got that fixed. Did have a polished bumper, but that's uh, they put a new one on that. white again. It has two 
two lights on it, but they don't actually work at the moment. So I have to get that fixed. I've only got the standard lights on the roof, there's no extras. So I'll, get, I'll show you the outside of it. And uh, just see the changes on it.